I just get this Anthony Rapp news about Kevin Spacey and I'm taking this jacket off. I don't need this jacket. It's too hot in here. Well, I, you know, George, I turn off the AC and I, there. So, Spacey and, uh, um, I, well, I'm trying to finish up this, you know, story at the Times and, you know, the, the, the regular editorials and I, this comes in, so I've got to, I'm, I'm clairvoyant. I live in the world of tomorrow and it doesn't, I, I don't know everything's going to happen. I mean, you know, today's news yesterday, but I, I live in the world of tomorrow and I don't know what Spacey's going to say. And I don't, I don't know what else rap is going to say. I, I like what I see so far. All we've got is, is, is Anthony has, has the, the article or whatever his initial release, I think it was at Buzzfeed shows up and Spacey sees this and immediately responds. I mean, he doesn't admit anything and the lawyers would be happy with what he said. Uh, you know, Spacey discloses some stuff about himself, which is, it's friendly. It's a, it's a friend, you know, by the way, I'm, you know, I live this way and he's very humble. He doesn't, doesn't smack or try to hurt or smear Anthony Rapp. Anthony Rapp says, I'm not attack, you know, just, I said what I said and it stands and I'm just, you know, we need to know truth here. So, I know how the cow chews the cud and I know how the tide comes in and out and I'm t somehow or another, Netflix has to keep Spacey on House of Cards. If Netflix doesn't, if, if whether they choose not to, if they have the option or if Netflix does not have the option, if, if public outcry is so terrible and Netflix has no choice, literally, then... Not, not an opinion, but really, then it's over. The only way for Netflix to not get hit by this is for some way forward for Spacey to stay on. I'm not saying that way exists, but just that's the way it stays on. I think, I've, I've not watched House of Cards. Yes, that's right. I've not. I've, I'm busy with other stuff. So maybe I'm going to, I'm interested in watching House of Cards now. I might get a Netflix subscription just to watch House of Cards because of this. Well, see, I think Anthony Rapp, I, I've heard about President Underwood and we all, you know, I, I get, get, you know, this guy's just outright evil and just no good. It's all power stuff. Anthony Rapp needs to have a small role, low time commitment, and he needs to show up on House of Cards and bring down President Underwood. I think perfect justice to this whole thing. He and Spacey, they need to reconcile. Spacey needs to very humbly apologize and Anthony Rapp needs to forgive him and they go together. They write a book together. They make people aware of the problem. How do you deal with it? How do you not be the problem? How do you deal with the problem when it's there? How do we... You know, this is Hollywood, dude. This has been the entertainment industry. The people we look to on TV every day being mesmerized and hypnotized by the flicker screen are, because, you know, it's flickering, the TV screen. When that, well, it goes back, you know, the original, you know, movie projectors, pop, 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 you know, it's a flick, call it a flicker show. The people we look at, their faces, their, their, their subtle little muscle movements in their, in their facials, you know, they have been very immoral people. And I think that's been having a subconscious effect on all of us. So arguably, you know, Spacey and Rap did not have any leadership in their entertainment industry guiding them this way or that. Now, I'm not going to excuse people or anyone off or whatever, but goodness, these, if anyone could get along and come along with it with a positive way forward and say, this is how we deal with it, it's these guys. And, and Spacey does not play a desirable character on Netflix. So I, I, let me give you an idea about how stuff works here and Jesse's little theory of how the world works. Netflix is in a position to make a powerful difference. They're in Hollywood. I do believe it's Universal Studios. And 
uh, you know, where they do stuff. So I'm not trying to give information about Netflix, but they're there on the scene around Los Angeles. They just, they just closed. There was a shooting a few, about a mile away and they shut down the set. Um, what is it? October 17, was it, George? Yeah, people can look it up on their own. Whatever. Netflix could make a powerful difference. They could be a light in the darkness. They, they could expose and confront the corruption. Now, now in, in order to do, in order to make a difference, Netflix has to stay profitable. You, you can't, I mean, it's, it's, it's Alfred and Bruce Wayne. You know, you, you know the charity is paid for by the profits. No profits, no charity. Netflix has to exist. And if they exist, they can make a difference. But to exist, they got to have profit. So, I mean, you know, Kevin Spacey plays a villain. So th- there's, you know, in subconscious level of marketing, it could work. It could work. What you do is Kevin Spacey makes his peace with Anthony Rapp. Anthony Rapp shows up maybe towards the end of the season. They don't want to rewrite it. Shooting is supposedly already begun. And Anthony Rapp shows up at the end and he spells the doom of Underwood. And throughout season seven, doesn't need to be a big role, but throughout season seven, he slowly brings him down and that's the end of the series. And, and Anthony Rapp shows up as, as he needs to be someone that's untouchable. That's all he needs to be. He can be a witness. He could be a senator. He could be an investigator. He could be a department head. He, anything, he'd be a de- deputy secretary. Anthony Rapp needs to bring down, he needs to play a character who brings down Underwood. People need, the American people need to know that, that a president like Underwood will not endure. But to do that, Anthony Rapp needs to have his peace with Spacey. And there you go. And if they do, and that, that would send an, an incredibly huge message that no, it's not acceptable. They can say the stuff that needs to be said in the lines. And, you, you know, anyhow, that's what I think, that's where I think this, this needs to go. But yeah, you know, we, we need, no, I'm not going to say the stuff that I said at the Pacific Daily Times because I, I write my political ideas and then I put them there so that I don't get into them over here. But this is all new stuff. It's, it's all showing up. So... There you go. That's a way forward. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know who's going to report what. I don't know who's going to respond to what, but that's a way forward. I believe that it can happen. But if, 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 if Netflix can't keep Spacey, then uh, it's, it's, they're, they're going to get hurt. You can't, I mean, we need, we need to move forward. You can't just, oh, someone said something bad about me. Well, it, it, it is true. It looks true. Uh, it's not true, but it scares people. Oh, it is true. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just go die now. You can't do that. Trump pushed forward and got elected. It, it you know, it proves that it, that it can work. You, you have to, you don't defend yourself as being self-righteous. You defend the right to push forward and become better and survive. Not, not the right to hurt other people. But just you, you push forward, you hit back. And we got so many politicians, you know, Republicans, Democrats, something happens and people just apologize. And that's why we got the political environment that we have today. And we need, we need to push forward. We need to, we need to stay alive and thrive and stuff. There's a, there are other factors. I mean, sometimes you can't wind, you know, this other stuff going on in Hollywood is just, I mean, it's, you know, if you want to advance your career, then you've got a, you know, that's, a, that's another story. That that's that's leveraging. Um, so I, I we need reconciliation. We need people to be confronting the ugly truth, and helping the public through this. We need leadership, guidance, encouragement, counsel from all sides of this. And it's time that I get to the point. Love wins. Reconciliation has power to save us from all kinds of evil. Lincoln said, do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? Sinatra said, the best revenge is massive success. Killing, crushing, smearing, destroying, controlling, oppressing. They never silence innocent blood from crying out for justice. They only make the cry louder. Humans don't hunger for death. We are only satisfied when friends have life and enemies become friends. If we can't shine out the darkness, then there's no point in striving. After all, humans are not the enemy of humans. Our enemy is quite inhumane. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.